Welcome to a Crash Course in Warframe. Today we're gonna be covering Trinity, the closest you're gonna get to a healer, kind of. Due to her support and survival-oriented abilities, Trinity is an extremely flexible class even when taking into consideration the fact that none of her abilities do any direct damage. And despite her terribly designed armored skirt, the majority of her skills simply replenish health and energy to both herself and her teammates. Link, however, turns this healer in a half shell into a temporary juggernaut and can even allow players to solo what would otherwise be difficult bosses and mobs. What is that? Trinity starts off with a fair amount of energy, health, and shield, but lacks in armor, and even after a slight buff in closed beta, is still one of the slower frames. But keep in mind that this is a support class, so don't forget to focus on expanding her energy pool, as you'll soon find out that regardless of how effective her energy vampire ability is, a lot of ass saving will very quickly deplete her reserves. Trinity's first ability, Well of Life, is a cheap way to restore health in the early game by casting it on a target and shooting it. And while it's nice that it supports anybody that's shooting at it, the downside is that it only works on a single target and only lasts as long as it's still alive, so try not to waste it on anything that has light or no armor. Even using it on the tougher mobs is difficult since the giant green beacon of Hey guys, shoot me! will quickly gain the attention of teammates, leading to the mob being near instagibbed. Now similar to Well of Life, Trinity's second skill, Energy Vampire, is a single target cast ability that restores energy to any player shooting at the mob while afflicted, which in this case is made obvious by the blue aura. And while it can be used to restore more energy than its cost, it still remains viable almost solely on the toughest mobs and bosses for the same reasons as Well of Life. But the fun really begins when you chain this thing with Link because it makes soloing tougher mobs near costless. This survivability skill is one of the best in the game. Not only does it render Trinity immune to all damage, knockbacks, and interrupts, but it also deals damage to the enemy you are linked to. Even more, when the enemy you are linked to dies, it will automatically attach itself to the next nearby mob. Using this ability when getting nuked or swarmed in tandem with a good melee weapon or shotgun can make Trinity feel very tanky. The obvious downside is if you fail to keep this ability up, you will quickly find out that she is anything but. Trinity's final ability, Blessing, simply restores health and shields of all players, regardless of range. It also grants them temporary invulnerability, which obviously is nice. But depending on the situation, this ability can render Well of Life near useless, as the amount of health it can restore is obviously much greater than what can be generated by the cast and focus fire method. The only downside, and this is more of a warning than anything, is that Blessing has a noticeable delay from the time the spell is triggered to the moment the benefits actually kick in. It's pretty much the amount of time it takes for the animation to finish. So be sure to plan accordingly and try really hard not to procrastinate when support is needed or when your own ass needs saving. In summary, the early game playstyle of Trinity will lean more towards gunplay as her abilities only truly shine when fighting bosses. The upside is that players are always farming bosses and you have no problem providing support to even the most novice of teams. Although with the combination of Energy Vampire and Link, teaming up with noobs can prove to be more of a hassle than it's worth when you can more easily tell them to go sit in the corner and shut up while mommy takes care of business.